Hi, I'm Ahmed Tuzi. I'm a clinical senior lecturer at UCL and consultant neurologist at Queen Square and I work with Claudia Wheeler-Kingshot in the Department of Neuroinflammation. Uh, the main research theme of our group is to understand multiple sclerosis. This is one of the uh, commonest causes of neurological disability that affects young adults in this country. It is caused by the body's own immune system attacking its nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. And over years, people tend to accumulate disability. We use MRI to try and understand why and how this happens. And we think this is key to helping us develop future treatment strategies. But the research that has been done with MRI hasn't been able to provide us with the full picture, or hasn't been able to explain completely why some people develop disability and others do not. And we hope that by using uh, the technique of connectomics, this will help us to push this understanding further and give us a more complete picture of um, what happens in the disease. I'll now hand you over to Claudia who will explain the techniques involved um, in this project. Hi, I'm Claudia Wheeler-Kingshot. I'm a reader in MR Physics at the UCL Institute of Neurology based in Queen Square. How are we meeting this challenge? We know that we've got uh, um, grey matter areas, which are the soma of the neurons, and white matter areas, which are the axons. And the diffusion MRI gave us a pos gives us the possibility to track the axons and the pathways in the brain, while uh, functional MRI detects uh, how the brain works and functionally connected areas. But we don't have a specific way already well um, established of uh, calculating the connectivity of uh, functional networks. So the first thing is to determine these methods and, uh, and in healthy subjects and then to model how pathology would affect these networks. And uh, once we have got these models, we can then select patients that have got particular lesions in particular areas and go and see if our predictive um, clinical uh, uh, outcomes are uh, matched by the patients. Why are we doing it at UCL? Because we need clinicians for the uh, MS part, we need uh, uh, physicists and, uh, and engineers for developing the methods and we need computer scientists to help us uh, modeling uh, these uh, networks and, uh, um, and then ma make the whole uh, system work. And we already have got great collaborations between clinicians, between computer scientists and physicists, so it's the best place to do uh, this project.